The hidden Tesla tower is hidden from attackers until they come close enough. And like I said in my other video, if you haven't seen it, that is lying. They are lying to us. That is not right. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Matt. Here with another episode to Road to Max Town Hall Level 8, Episode 6. Sorry that I released this to you guys a little bit late. It's because I haven't had my recording app. It got deleted. And then it wouldn't let me download it for some reason. But I got it back. And this video is coming to you guys right now. Let's get into some replays. So, my first replay that I'm going to show you guys didn't have that much gold, but it had a ton of elixir. So, I checked to see if there was any clan castle troops. Get that king out here. Try to lure him to the side, but that Tesla popped up, so I got to take him to these army camps. Take him out, no problem. Start spreading out my barbarians. Start spreading out my archers. And drop two wall breakers to that T intersection. One of them dies, but it's okay. I'll just send another one. So they break into that one compartment. So I drop a rage spell. They break through the other compartment. Now they're moving pretty quick through this guy's base. Drop some archers because I really want them to take out the archer tower. Send in some minions. Check for seeking, not seeking air mines, but air bombs and there was so I dropped the rest of my minions and there was another one inside the guy's base so that was pretty good that's like an anti bam strategy or anti minion strategy so tuck your air bombs right where your storages are so that you can <laughs> protect your storages against minions now I dropped my clan castle I'm not sure why I really tried to get that dark elixir I'm guessing but as you can see right here, there's one minion left. That one minion is going to take out that storage and we'll be on our way. The, ooh, sorry. The battle had ended due to time running out. So I didn't get to get the dark elixir or else I would have just let my minion sit there and take all that dark elixir. So... Now for my next replay, I should have actually trained some troops instead of leaving my barracks empty. But anyways, that's fine. I could always train up simple BAM strategy or barbs and archers. So now I'm attacking this other guy with about almost 400k of loot, almost probably just under. So I do drop some barbs, some archers. I didn't check if he had any clan castle troops. I don't know where his clan castle is. I think it's on the top. But I'm not focused on that right now. I drop my king. Make a entry to his main compartment where all his money is. And my barb king is still under the rage spell. And he is taking out that storage. Now, there's not much that would take out my Barb King, just the cannon and then the splash units. But, splash units doesn't do good against troops like dragons, P.E.K.K.A.s, giants they actually do. Well, wizard towers do a good job. But, really, the strong troops, they really don't do much to them, so that's pretty good. Now, my minions are flying around, taking out this guy's gold. And some of my archers are shooting out that gold, but they die from the wizard tower. So, this was all thanks to my barb king and my minions. Rage spell had a big part in it, and his clan castle was at the top. And he did not have any clan castle troops. I don't remember if I checked for it, if I just didn't show it in the video. Or, but, that's fine. Not going to be able to get the three star because of that cannon and Tesla. And then the air defense taking out my minions so I'll get 33 oh 33 93 percent and get all this guy's loot so 
I have one more replay to show you guys and actually that's what I do with my I, I don't know I put a spell because I've always been forgetting spells lately and right here oh no I do not have another raid for you guys I'm sorry this is for my buddy Jay he wanted me to do a base review on his base so I'm gonna talk to you guys about that and then that's gonna wrap up this video so this base hmm well he has all of his stuff in the middle all of his resources in the middle followed with some teslas at the corners so i guess that's good but if wall breakers come then they just go through this guy's base and the reason i was highlighting this guy's mortars and this guy's mortars and wizard towers is because he does have them triangular kind of probably like a large triangle but one is upgrading and then he has his wizard towers as a square or a diamond and that's good and his air defenses as well he has these cannons and archer towers in range of his outside building so they can't really pick it off so that's good he has nice trap placement except for those giant bombs right there you can spread them out a little bit uh his air bombs and his seeking mines are pretty good and he does have a good clan castle as i checked it before he had a couple archers and some wizards in there. So, good job with the clan castle troops. Good job with the Teslas being diamond, I guess, or squared. And the traps, you might want to use the... Move the giant bombs probably once each corner. But good job on the, the sp spring traps and the little bombs. So, with said that, I'm going to say this. Thanks for you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, oh, I'm going to do a couple upgrades. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. So, I'm going to do my barracks. And I did one wall. So, now that wraps up the video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.